Dear students, I have started this algebra lecture series based on the syllabus of Calicut University 5th semester BSc Mathematics and through the 40 video lessons we have completed all the portions related to that syllabus. But as per the request of some students outside the scheme, I am extending this algebra lecture series to include some more topics in algebra such as normal subgroups, factor groups etc. For IIT jam aspirants it may be useful for their preparations also. First of all, let me explain what do you mean by a factor group. Consider the group set 6 with respect to the operation addition modulo 6. And you take h equal to set 0, 3 which is a subgroup of set 6. And you know how to write the cosets of h in set 6. Here I write only the cosets of h instead of left cosets and right cosets separately because here addition modulo 6 is a commutative operation. Therefore all the left cosets are equal to the corresponding right cosets. Therefore we say only the cosets of h in set 6. First coset we write in such a way that we have to take an element in set 6 let it be 0 and I have to take the operation addition modulo 6 with 0 to each of the elements of h. So that is 0 plus 0 is this, 0 plus 3 is 3. Now we will search for an element in set 6 which are not in this set, this coset set 0, 3 and let it be 1. So we write the next coset as 1 addition modulo 6 h. So we have to perform the operation 1 addition modulo 6 to each of the elements in h that is 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 3 is 4. And, the, uh, and again we will search for the element in set 6 which are not in both of these cosets and it will be 2 and the third coset is 2 addition modulo 6 h and we can see that these three cosets covers all the elements of set 6. Therefore h has three cosets in set 6. Now consider the group table corresponding to this group and you know how to write the group table of set 6 addition modulo 6. I have written the group table in such a way that the elements are written in the order as they appear in the cosets. So here the first coset is 0, 3. Therefore I write the elements 0 and 3 as first two elements. The next two elements as 1 and 4 which is the elements in the second coset. And uh, last two elements are 2 and 5 which are the elements in the third coset. And uh, you can fill the group table corresponding to the order of elements in this way. For example, if you want to find uh, 5 star 2, that is 5 addition modulo 6, 2, that is 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 when divided by 6 the remainder will be 1. Therefore 5 star 2 is 1. Here the operation star is addition modulo 6. Likewise you can complete the group table here. I have given here different colors to the elements corresponding to different cosets. Now you can see that we can construct another table as shown here in which the blocks of numbers having same color are named corresponding to their color. Here for example 0 addition modulo 6 h which is the first coset is represented by the letter R and the elements in this coset is written in red. Next coset the set 1 4 is represented by B in which the elements are written here as blue letters and the last coset 2 5 is represented by W in which the elements here are represented by white letters. Then you replace each of these blocks by the corresponding names. Then you will get such a table here. You can see that if you consider a set G containing the elements R, B, W together with the operation star which is defined as per this table produces a group that is G star is a group. How we can verify that it is a group? You have to check whether the operation star is binary. Clearly the operation is binary here. All the resulting elements are the elements in the set itself. And you can check that the operation is associated here. What is the identity element? Clearly R is the identity element because R star R equal to R, R star B equal to B, R star W equal to W. If we take an element in the set and we take in the operation star with the element R, the resulting answer will be that element. So we can say that R here is the identity element. And what are the inverses of the elements? R star R equal to R means that R is the inverse of itself. B star W equal to R. That means that W is the inverse of B. And B is the inverse of W. So all the elements has inverses also. So we, we can conclude that this G star becomes a group. So given a group set 6 addition modulo 6 and a subgroup h equal to set 0, 3, we constructed another group here. 
And what are the elements of the new group? It is set of all cosets of H in Z6. That is 0 addition modulo 6 H which is represented by R. Then 1 addition modulo 6 H which is represented by B. And 2 addition modulo 6 H which is represented by W. So this is the new group we constructed here according to this group table. This group is actually called the factor group of Z6 over H. So we have the group Z6 and a subgroup H and we write all the cosets of H in Z6. Then we showed that it forms a group and that group that is a set of all cosets of H in Z6 is called the factor group of Z6 over H. Now let me ask a question. Given a group G and one of its subgroups H, whether we can construct a factor group G over H. That is, is the process possible for any group G and all of its subgroups H? We will answer this question through an example again. Now consider the group S3 equal to set rho naught rho 1 rho 2 mu 1 mu 2 mu 3 which contains set of all permutations on three symbols. We consider the subgroup H equal to set rho naught mu 1. You know how to write the left cosets of H in S3 which are rho naught H equal to set rho naught mu 1 rho 1 h equal to z rho 1 mu 3 and rho 2 h equal to z rho 2 mu 2. How you can write the cosets here? For example, rho 2 h is rho 2 star rho naught which is rho 2. Rho 2 star mu 1, let us go to the table, rho 2 star mu 1 is mu 2. So here we have mu 2. Likewise, you can write the left cosets of h in S3. Similarly, the right cosets of h in S3 are h rho naught equal to z rho naught mu 1 h rho 1 equal to set rho 1 mu 2 and h rho 2 equal to set rho 2 mu 3. This is the group table corresponding to S3. Now, let us try to construct the factor group of S3 over this particular subgroup H. So, we have to write the group table in such a way that the elements are listed in the order in which they are appearing in the left cosets of H and G. So, first two, two elements are right as rho naught and mu 1 third and fourth elements which are the elements in the second corset rho 1 mu 3 and the elements in third corset rho 2 mu 2 as the last two elements. So you have to rearrange the terms in the above table to get the new table corresponding to this ordering of elements and let us try to construct another group from this data. Now let the elements of the new group be W, B and R corresponding to the blocks of elements in each corsets. Here we have to complete the operation table. W star W means that here I have to take the block corresponding to W here and here also W. Then W star W we will get again W itself. So here it is W. And what will be W star B? For that I have to take again W here and here I have to take this block B. And the answer will be this block. Here this block contains both blue letters and red letters. This means that if you take an element from the corset rho naught mu 1 and if you take an arbitrary from the corset rho 1 mu 3 and you apply the operation star, the answer may belong to the corset rho 1 mu 3 or the corset mu 2 rho 2. So we cannot conclude whether w star b is b or r. This happens here because we cannot construct a factor group of S3 over this particular H. Now a question arises given a group G what is the property of the subgroup H so that there exists a factor group of G over H. Our discussion will be going towards this direction. We will locate some properties of the subgroup H so that there exists a factor group G over H.